Sometimes the residing parent can actively not block, but hinder the progress of the non-resident parent by not giving over, let's say, uh, school reports, information on medical uh, stuff, where their children might be based medically, dentistry, things like this, things happening in the kids' lives. Sometimes the kids don't communicate quite so much, and that is because they are also having to deal with said parent and this situation and sometimes it's easier for children just to be silent just to be quiet and communicate minimally remember sometimes in the case of children the focus will be on the parent who doesn't give love the focus will be on the parent who can reject really easy that's where the attention goes if you are the parent who is loving and giving and emotionally available they don't have to fight for your attention this can often feel quite unfair because the attention will go to the kind of more ambivalent ambiguous parent and again this is about changing the rhetoric in your head it's about understanding this dynamic and understanding where the children are at and again this can begin to bring up the level of uh, equilibrium and power and control within a situation your children may not be talking to you so much because they don't need to fight for your attention they may be trying to survive in the environment that they are currently within which is best to almost pretend that you don't exist there are certain things you can do with regards to exterior stuff so you can go and seek legal help 